of Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lucky here with your Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com and today we have another box breaking and this is on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! I feel like a child again. Um, this is uh, from IDW. This uh, I believe they recently kickstarted this game. Uh, if they did, I missed it and I picked this up at Origins. So we have the first expansion which is April O'Neil Hero Pack and we have the box set itself. Shadows of the Past. Da da da. It's actually a pretty heavy box, so I don't know how many pounds it weighs, but I'm guessing there's a good bit of stuff in here. Uh, it was exp oh, there's a comic book inside. Oh, that makes sense. IDW, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book. Uh, so we'll uh, real quick we'll flip through here. Um, I'll try and take some of the glare out of the picture. It's everything I remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to be as a kid. Uh, for those of you that are watching, if you have or know where there's a copy of How to Draw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I would love to get a copy of that comic book again. I have no idea what it's worth. I'm not sure I care. Well, I do care at this point in my life. But uh, if you have a copy or are aware of a copy, please let me know where to find it. And now we're taking a look at the rule book. So yes, it is a dungeon crawl. And this is a really big box. Uh, the rules are about 20 pages. Inside, there's, like I said, it's a heavy box, so there's a lot of stuff. But we're going to take some of this stuff out. We're going to take all this stuff out. Flip see it over. Maybe. Let's see. A little known secret. I bought this game to use with the role-playing game. Ah, no, I'm joking. I actually haven't been able to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles role-playing game in many years. Okay, so. Where's my knife? I can't find anything to tear. Pizza. Lots and lots of pizza. Uh, ninja masks. Stop signs. Like I was saying, it's it's apparently a dungeon crawl, so uh, the tiles are gonna basically make make your map. Uh, I like dungeon crawls. I feel that they always have a lot of uh, replayability. Um, on the back, you've got sewer pizza. That's what I'll call it. Uh, again, same thing on this set of tokens. And on the blue tiles, it looks like you've got uh, sewer covers, manhole covers, I should say. Uh, 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 come on. Manhole covers, cars. Yes, I'm just throwing the trash on the floor. I'm a bad dad. Um, tops of uh, gar uh, storage containers, smoke. Um. Oh, it's a staircase. I couldn't tell for a moment there. And I'm not sure what that is. Kind of looks like a stage. And then on the back, oh, there's surveillance cameras, opened uh, manhole covers. And on the back, it's a reflection of the same thing. And then we're going to take a look at, ooh, ooh, look at this, this one. This one has a flap. I don't have to cut it. There's a good bit of tiles here, actually. Uh, most games give you like, you know, five or six. I'm going to say there's probably close to five or six. Uh, <laughs> um, after this, we're going to get into um, the uh, minis and stuff. So let's see here. Building tile, obviously. Whoa. What's this? Um... Not sure what the yellow lines are for yet. Kind of looks like walls of some kind. That that looks like a wooden wooden trellis or a wooden wooden portion of town. Let's see here. What's on the back of this one? So you've got uh, this one must be this one's a sewer. This is a rooftop, I would say. A big room. Another rooftop with a pool. 
inside an office building, windows obviously. Street, docks, by the docks, that's what I would call that. And that's a sewer with a drain. So now the fun, this is where the fun really begins because Holy cows. So these are adventure comic books. Uh, these are basically your scenarios. Right? And, oh my gosh, look at that. It's awesome sauce. You know, your different scenarios. It tells you uh, how to set up special rules and everything. Uh, and you've got um, books one, two, three, and four here. These are actually pretty hefty. In weight wise. Then you have uh, a round tracker, some cards. Maybe we'll look at the cards first. There's character cards there. Uh, you have an IDW. You know, this is this is actually really cool. I'm glad I'm glad companies started doing this again, uh, promoting their own games within their stuff. It's it's inexpensive. Uh, they give you bags for probably the dice and stuff. Look at the dice. We'll look at those in a minute. Um, you've got different characters. Uh, I'm gonna say we, well we'll look at the, we'll look at the figs in a minute. What's this? Just a piece of cardboard. Uh, look at the figs in a minute. We'll start with the dice. Zoom in a little bit. All the dice I believe are symboly dice. Yep. So you've got green dice and black dice. This is probably not the way you play the game, but we're going to do this. So we have, uh, these must be defense dice. Deflection, deflection, one hit, two hit. Is there a three hit? I don't think so. so that's those. Don't know what these different symbols mean yet, but probably going to get them all on here. Yin yang, blue yin yang. Red turtle shell, shell with sword, 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 double strike, two skateboards, two running away maybe. Um, double sword. Gives you an idea. Now we'll look at the different character cards. If I can open the plastic. Plastic doesn't like me ever. So we got we got Raphael here. Let's see. Boom boom. He has uh, 13 life. He moves three. Uh, well, here we'll put him there. And then we have Michelangelo. He's a little bit quicker. Um, he doesn't hit as hard. He has the same defense, roughly. A little bit more skilled. And then we have, oh, that's another. we have Leonardo, who is probably the most skilled from what I know of the comic book show. Move it over here a little bit. He's got 12 life instead of 13, like Raphael. He's a little bit more enduring. And then we have Donatello, who's got the most, most focus, right? Huh. That's interesting. I didn't think he would have the most focus. Uh, from what I know with the comic book. I mean, it's been a little bit since I've read the comic books, but I always remember him being a little goofy. Um, but the high defense, I think, fits really well. And uh, moves about the same. And then we have Master Shredder here. He's a leader. He's Oh, yeah, plus they, they've all got different special abilities. I didn't make note of that before. We've got Master Shredder. He moves three, defends four, and he's evil. Evil 99. Here's an evil. Here's a leader, Old Hob. Here's Karai. Interesting. Her, her ranged attacks don't weaken for the first five spaces. Hmm. We have Alapex. We have a Foot Clan Bruiser. I bet those are feet. Are those feet? Nope, those are cards. Foot Clan Elite. We have a Street Thug. 
We have a Foot Clan Ninja and the Street Gunner, Street Thug Gunner. Now we're going to look at the cards. Alright, so the cards, they got nice, they're nice, they're a lot like uh, playing cards, they feel a lot like playing cards, they got that nice glossy finish, um, they're polished, they're polished nicely. So we've got April O'Neil who's an ally, I can't get rid of the plastic, plastic's sticking to me, April O'Neil, Casey Jones, Master Splinter, I hope he has a model. Uh, Woody Durkins, Angel Bridge. You have a Leonardo Leaping Strike card. So okay, so the cards obviously get to uh, affect your dice rolls and stuff. This one, Leo leaps up to three spaces in straight line, and he makes a plus two attack. Very nice. Uh, slice and dice. Double slash. I'll hold them off. Probing attack, clash, spin attack. So I'm hoping that I get to play this before Gen Con, but if not, I'm going to take it with me, depending on if I have to take the bus or not, uh, and try and play with the guys in my room because I, I managed to. I found out some of my friends were going, so uh, we're splitting the hotel room up. Uh, jump kick for Raphael. Um, hurl sigh. Did that um, we have uh, Burning Rage. Yeah, he's a little bit of a high hand. Cool but rude. We have Michelangelo. Double Chuck. Plus one attack, basically. But he makes two of them. Uh, low Blow. Kicks a guy in the groin. I'll throw you. Whirling Shield. Coming through. Coming through. Party Dude. And we have uh, different types of terrain here. We have unstable terrain. Throwing objects. Oh, manhole covers can be thrown. Yes, they did that. We have covered terrain. Slow terrain. Obscuring terrain. Harmful terrain. Uh, entering a space of harmful terrain deals one damage to the model. Elevated terrain. Of course, you're in a city, right? Cameras. Um, pretty interesting. At the start of each round, flip camera. Over so it faces the opposite direction. Each camera is then altered once for each hero in its line of sight. Alerted. So there's some sneaking going on here, right? Um, and then we have uh, Master Shredder Leader cards. It's your destiny to fail. There will be no rest. Um, enough. But when it's played, move all enemies adjacent to Shredder one space away from him. Huh. Cry. Cannot defeat the foot. Roll two battle dice. Cry regains life equal to the hits you roll. Nice. So, very interesting. Cool. Moving on to the next deck, because, oh yeah, that's one thing I want to check too. So, you've got uh, all the turtle characters were a deck. I always, I always forget to do this. This is all the terrain cards, yep. And these are all the enemy cards, basically. So we know that right off the bat here, we're going to have some more more. More enemy cards, um, except that they're on the bottom. They're on the bottom here. So we have a, a Master Shredder leader card. Cease this foolishness. Take down the mutants. Your Master Shredder. There's a lot of Shredder cards. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because he's the main bad guy, right? Shoot them. Flank them. Some of these are uh, your, these are like your more common cards here. Watch out. Uh, here is uh, Master Shredder Leader. 
Again, some more Karai cards. Ropex, here I come. Um, interesting. Uh, all the cards have slightly different gameplay effects on them. Uh, it's pretty straightforward so far, I think. I'm pretty sure these are like the different types of dice you're allowed to roll. But I'll learn that in a minute or two or three. You need to move through the cards a little bit. I did I miss him? I did. I missed Donatello. I wasn't paying enough attention looking at the cards to see Donatello. Regroup. I wonder why it's silver. A lot to learn. Now the important stuff. Ah, well, some important stuff. We're going to zoom in here. We're going to... Oh, where's... There we go. We're going to look at the models. Uh, so there's Shredder. There's an Elite. These are the Elites, I believe. They're all the same. Uh, this is uh, Ro Roplex, I believe. Where is this? Cat Warrior. All the turtles are. Oh, just dropped a minute. All the turtles are green. Um, gray. So they're not 28 millimeter. They're you know board game sized. Uh, there's. I'm not going to pull all the foot out. What? Pull all the thugs and stuff out. A lot of them repeat. Oh, there they are. Man, I, I wasn't seeing the rest of the, the turtles. I'm going to pull out all the turtles. But there's plenty of foot soldiers. I mean, there's um, 24 of them ish. I lied, 18. I added an extra six. Um, so here is Leonardo. Pretty good detail on these guys. Raphael. It's a little shiny so it doesn't want to focus in. Maybe he'll get it better. There you go, look at that shell. And now, April O'Neil. Comes with new dice. Whoa. There's a little bit of figure creep there, but that's okay. It's a board game. It's not a miniatures game. I mean, it is a miniatures game, but it's not like a war miniatures game where a lot of people are going to freak out about it. Or she's really tall. Um, she comes with some uh, new dice. She comes with come on, some cards here. Let's see here. What, what, what does she come with? She comes with an adventure... We'll look at the cards first, and then we'll zoom out and look at our adventure comic book. Maybe we'll look at the cards if we can open them up. So she has self-defense. She can spend a number of shurikens and or skateboards as katanas. She's slippery, in other words, she sweats a lot, or she... Wears a lot of lotion and squeezes out of tight places. Stealth suit. That's a nice picture. I like it. She has a gravity gauntlet. 
She has a second wind card, so it allows her to regain five focus. What the heck is her focus then? Her focus is five. She is level headed and she can she can give first aid. That's her little deck. So her character card, we'll zoom in a little bit now. So she gets stealth suit, uh, that's her, her, she gets beta tech. Um, she moves four, she's faster than the turtles, makes sense, she's really tall and has long legs, right? Uh, she only has one attack, three defend, five focus, eleven life, nine to awaken. Nothing on the So her, I guess we're going to have to zoom out a little bit more. Her adventure comic book. So, using the Adventure Comic Book has special rules. It has the table of contents. Of course, you're going to have the objectives, and then you're going to have the uh, map setups, and then you'll have your next scenario, which has special rules and everything, and your setup. So, there's a few different scenarios in here to use April, and uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, oh, a little cheat sheet on the back. So... Inside Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you get, we must zoom out for this, lots of models. All the tiles to play the game. All of the punch outs to play the game. The little IDW information packet, the adventure comic books, uh, little baggies, the rule book, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book, uh, the cards, or I should say the decks to play the game. Actually, I don't, no, I don't want to do that up there. Uh, the character slash decks to play the game. So I don't want to co cover up the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're just too cool. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Set those aside. Because I'm making a mess. Set those aside because I'm making a mess. You get the dice that you need to play the game. I'm not putting them all up there. Of course you get more minis that I didn't, you know. Go to sneeze. And you get... Excuse me for that. And you get all the character cards. Oh, and of course, you know, in the April O'Neil Hero Pack, which is the first expansion, you get April O'Neil. And her deck and her cool colored yellowish dice here. Don't mind that. That wasn't a cat or anything crazy. That was from a fire. Um, thanks for watching, guys. It's Matt Lemke with Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Uh, and this has been a, a box breaking on Teenage Mutant Tur Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shadows of the Past from IDW. See you guys at Gen Con.